Ramble. Thank you to Framebridge and Green Chef for sponsoring this episode. Dear Guilty Pleasures, today oh. is going to be a great day okay. because today we're talking about Dear yeah. Evan Hansen. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. What is up? Kelsey's here. This is genuinely uh, a fave of yours, a fave movie, <laughs> a fave musical. You're centering yourself. I'm centering myself. I am... I am prepping emotionally uh-huh. yeah. to ward off any dare saying nay of this movie. Because you know that this is a a, a maligned film. So to what'd speak. you call it? <laughs> You're fucking maligned. How about that, Zach? Interesting. Yeah. And joining us, Garrick's out today, but we have the podcast grumbling himself, Miles Bonson. Happy to be here. Happy to, also happy to be fellow here. Musical theater. The standing in and in. Yo, yo. Big stand, love musical theater, love. Uh, Harmonize with me. Here we go. Uh, there exactly. will be no requiem. There will be no requiem tonight. Miles, did you bring Google you? Requiem. You sent us a photo of yourself earlier wearing the Dear Evan Hansen wig. <laughs> did you not bring it? No. But what are you doing? Wait, that dude? wasn't your hair. No, that was a wig. I didn't have your hair. <laughs> Much like the movie, it was not my hair. Wow. Um, but, wow. wow. But, Wait, uh, I gotta yeah. relook at this. I didn't bring the wig. That wasn't your hair at no, all. No, I didn't. What is that? Why do you have this wig? I have so many wigs. You don't have wigs? Kelsey, I, have tons of, I have tons of wigs. You feel like I have wigs. Why didn't you wigs. bring the wig? I know, I really should have. Why did you bring I the wig? Forgot, honestly, I got in the car and I was driving here and I went, fuck, I forgot <sighs> the wig. I thought it was gonna be funny. I was gonna do full cosplay. That I can't been believe great. I didn't yeah. realize I, that was I thought about doing that. I thought about doing Evan Hansen as my Halloween costume this year. What? Yeah. And I I feel like we need to do a Halloween episode of Guilty Pleasures where we all come in costume and <laughs> yes. I'm Colin Dibbs. All Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah. No, we yes. can't all do Yeah, we'll dear. all be Dear Evan Hansen. Just. I want to see Garrick's take on it. I'll go with Connor Murphy. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Bold choice. Black t-shirt. And, <laughs> and a guitar. And a guitar at some point. Um, I just want to say to all the guilty whores out there yeah. that they just like because they love our, our fandom name is the guilty whores. <laughs> I've not seen a single negative tweet about being called a guilty whore. I just want to say just because Garrick isn't here yeah. does not mean he is getting out of watching this <laughs> film. Guilty whores, if you thought I would let this, oh, I'm not here today, <laughs> get out of Garrick experiencing this film. Yeah. No, I will sit him down and I will force him to enjoy what is Dear Evan Hansen. So don't worry. I got him, guys. Let, let's just uh, attack this head on real quick. Let's, okay. let's get this out of the way. So uh, most people probably know Dear Evan Hansen as the award-winning musical. Um, big hit. Huge. Mm-hmm. But they also know it as one of the worst reviewed movies of last year. You said it. That's uh-huh. a fa- and that's a fact. And that's a fact. It's not a fact. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, <laughs> uh, Fake news. And... <laughs> And you, Kelsey, uh-huh. yes. would say to that, what? Fuck you and your mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, this. Um, you love the musical. Loved the musical. Yeah. So a so little, little backstory about the musical. I had heard about it. Mm. I knew it was getting rave reviews. Didn't really know who Ben Platt was. I just, I was in New York City. I always tried to. Excuse me? You yeah, didn't know who Ben Platt was? was? Yeah. Wow. And I, I, first of all, don't bring that fucking show into this. <laughs> He's left that behind. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and I, I always try to go see a show with my best friend when I'm in the city. So I just bought tickets. Mm. We got the back row in the, um, on the first floor. Wow. You were so far back. You were almost waving through a window, so to speak. (laughs) I'll allow it. And we had no idea what this musical was about. Uh We didn't know anything. I was like, it's probably some gay shit. And I can say that because I am gay. And (laughs) I, and by the way, when you're watching the musical, you're like, is this gay shit? You and don't know like, yeah, if it's gay. It's a lot. Gay, gay. But, but in real life, but not. he's not a ca- well. Yeah. But he, uh, anyway, it's not gay it. shit. So by like song number two, me and oh. my best friend are audibly mm. sobbing, yeah. <laughs> hysterically. Yeah. Like we did not realize mm-hmm. what we had signed up for, and from that moment until today, mm-hmm. I have been playing the soundtrack 
every single day of my life. Wow. Wow. Including when we all worked at BuzzFeed. Miles, did you work at BuzzFeed? I did. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. But Like I said, towards the end. We I, didn't really work together. No, I didn't like you. Um, <laughs> no, <I> didn't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know you. Going to be thinking about that when I go to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, at the end, I had no idea who worked there and who was like a freelancer and who was a contract, I, whatever. Uh, I would play the DR. I would play mm. waving through a window to start every meeting. Mm. Like every brainstorm, every brand call, I would play waving through a window and make everyone <laughs> listen to it. Yeah. Um, and that's why I left BuzzFeed. And that's why I left BuzzFeed. <laughs> that is, yeah. And then I got invited to the premiere of the movie. Of the fucking <laughs> movie. Yeah, bitch. Did he? Yeah, bitch. I have a, a lot of questions, but then the first one is Did he have that haircut during the premiere? He did not. He had a beard. That's Ooh, true. Kind yeah. of a little Zach Kornfeld move. He trying pulled to pull himself Diddy. from yeah, the former self. And I think he was wearing a skirt. It was Ooh. very hot. <laughs> And then I got to go to the after party and I got to stand and sit <gasps> next to Amy Adams and Julianne Moore for like oh, multiple hours. No fucking way. And they were so nice. I bet. Husbands are so hot or whoever they Obviously. were with. They're stars. Kids are so cool. Kids didn't give a fuck. One kid was upside down on the couch with her phone and like had their head hanging off the <laughs> edge of the couch at a fucking like fancy like. <laughs> That's baller. I mean, if you're Amy Adams' kid, I mean, you get to do you're whatever fine. the fuck yeah, you, you want. Yeah, you know whatever the fuck you want. Um, so all of that to say, this movie does not apologize for hitting the hard, real <laughs> teen issues head on. Mm -hmm. And this movie doesn't give a shit what you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it oh, certainly doesn't. It certainly so, doesn't. So you love the movie. Yeah, I fucking love the movie. The movie is fill in the blank. The movie is Dear Evan Hansen. Is it good or bad? It's it's one of the best oh. mus musical uh -oh. to movie. My Transition. <laughs> that is I a crazy sentence. I cannot believe I've that you're saying that. that. Miles. I cannot what? believe you're saying that. And let me talk about my experience with the movie briefly. Picture me in Brooklyn on no. the subway, listening to it, to, <laughs> waving through a window, <laughs> loving it, tearing up on my way to a coffee shop for a morning shift. <laughs> Love <laughs> the music so much. That imagery <laughs> is very funny. Picture it's me sad. going over the, when it goes over the river from Brooklyn to the yeah. financial district. On the going, outside, yeah, only looking, looking in, in my eyes. Yep. Not, Ever yep. be more than I've always been. Cause I'm <laughs> and then that's me loving the music so hard. Never got to see the stage oh, production. A but tragedy. Knew so much of it, uh, of the music, and just loved the music. So excited for the musical. Now, I've seen this once before. Um, you saw the movie? Saw the movie before. In theaters? No, no, no. Oh, so regular speakers. Um, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate. It's so sad. Regular speakers, not uh, pro. Not the best. And um, because Kelsey sort of gave a declarative statement of the movie, I think that if this if this movie miles <laughs> i think that this miles. you said your piece <laughs> you said your piece i think that this movie had somebody else other than ben platt in it <gasps> it would have potentially won an oscar <gasps> I think only you both <laughs> are absolutely out of your mind, and okay. I cannot wait to discuss further. Okay. What were you? But let's what give was the your, people. What was your caveat? The only thing was. I think Ben Flat looks like a pedophile. Oh my god! <laughs> So I also have an experience with the musical. It's a little yeah. different than yours, what but we'll get exact? into it. Let's hit the people with the synopsis. I dare you, you to try know. and give the synopsis of this movie. Dear, it's very simple. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Dear Evan Hansen stars Ben Platt as a pedophile who smokes okay. music. <laughs> I will not allow this guilty horrors. I dear, stand for our show. Dear our Evan film. Hansen is about, oh, I should say up top. Uh, by trigger the way, warning. By yes. the way, guys, uh, trigger warning for this episode. This episode has discussions of suicide and depression. So yeah. there yeah. you go. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole movie. It's the yeah. whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. So Dear Evan Hansen is about a young, anxious, and depressed man mm. in high school named Evan mm. Hansen. Another student named Connor Moof. Connor Murphy, <laughs> Connor Murphy, kind of movie. Uh, takes his own life. He kills mm -hmm. himself, yeah. but he has a note in his pocket that mm -hmm. Evan wrote to himself on assignment from his therapist. Mm -hmm. And he then, Evan then enters a web of lies mm -hmm. in which he convinces the family mm -hmm. that he and Connor were best friends. Mm -hmm. He infiltrates the family. Okay. He makes them love he him. He, he falls in love not. with their daughter. The daughter falls themselves. in love right back. Mm. And Evan... By continuing this lie, goes viral. Inspires the world. Yes. Um, 
So that is Dear Evan Hansen. And obviously we'll talk about more of the specifics as it goes on. You can't Um, just, you can't wrap up the complexity of this film into a log line. It's impossible to nail (laughs) the nuances of tanglement and drama. Yeah. Interesting. Well, let's step away. <laughs> Let, let's, I, I think first things first, yeah. the, the thing that everyone wants to hear about the thing that, that everyone knows about this movie and we'll get back to the plot. The plot. Oh! We'll get Did back to the plot. Purpose? Let's talk about the plot. Yeah. The Ben plot. Yeah. He looks <clears throat> wild. And Kelsey, before that, I want to, cause I want you to feel included in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> because I, it's okay to critique something that you love that's perfect. Yeah. And, yeah. and so I want to include sure. you there because. Oh, I have like, <laughs> well, I didn't even take notes on this movie because that's how much I love it. I, my one, crit- I do have a critique uh-huh. and it has uh-huh. nothing to do with Blen pa- Blen Platt's appearance. Really? And so to, to you, and I just want to hear from the opposite side. You think he looks A, like a high schooler. Yes. And- His hair <laughs> looks like a high schooler. His outfits oh, look like a high schooler. Yeah, let's just describe, if you haven't seen Ben Platt in this uh-huh. movie. So he, Ben Platt has looked 44 since he was 17. Okay. Yeah. That's just, that's just not his fault. He's potato mm-hmm. face. That's just He's reality. Face. So they wanted to say, well, Ben Platt, who played Evan ben Hansen Platt, yeah. mm-hmm. in the musical. Yeah. So they're like, you got to come back, Benny boy. No one could have played him. No, no one, one else. else certainly. Mm-hmm. So um, they caked on makeup yep. to mm-hmm. to uh, to make him look younger. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, that has the result of ma- allowing you to see every last pore on that face. Oh, yeah. They um, gave him, you know, in the musical, he has like a short kind of swoopy <laughs> haircut. <laughs> yeah. And in this, for whatever reason, they chose Jerry Curls. <laughs> it would have been fine <laughs> if he just had that other haircut, by the way. <laughs> they, they chose Jerry Curls so that he has like this curly mop of hair, which, by the way, I found out is his real hair. I did hear that. It's <laughs> not a wig, even though it appears to be the wiggiest wig of all wigs. I think it's the lighting, um, maybe. It's I don't know. And then... It's like the thinness of it. <laughs> yeah, it's very <laughs> Like, thin. it should be really voluminous. Lump show is cool, but it's like kind of t- strangling. Yeah. You're like, yeah, because high schoolers have those impossible hairlines, right? Listen, and, and he's a he's not. This that. is all I'm gonna say. We allow 30 year olds to play high schoolers in oh, Euphoria uh-huh. because they're hot. Yeah, put Ben Platt in Euphoria. <laughs> okay, all I'm going to say is no. nobody is critiquing the perf- the p- appearance of our Euphorian 30-year-old. Yeah. And here's why, though. Mm. I believe strongly that he... So Ben Platt actually quoted... He cited Greece as the oper- the reason why he should play Ben Platt in the movie version. He was like, uh-huh. in Greece, they don't look like kids. Uh-huh. Everybody else impeccably cast as teenagers. There it uh-huh. is. Caitlin Dever That's looks surprising. like she's she, in yeah, high school. She does. The best friend character who's like the cousin family. Family yeah. friend guy looks he's like he's in high Nick school. Someone, yeah. Everyone <laughs> else is a child. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, who's this fucking narc? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's an undercover <laughs> cop. Undercover <laughs> in school. And he also has this like super forced hunch because he's like, I'm a child. He's nervous. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm That's a what child. nervous people do. They work with. Okay. Fucking. Okay. Listen, bitches. <laughs> Tell me you didn't event with his cadences and his performance believe yeah. he was. A young boy. No, but I will say, <laughs> but I will say, and I want to, because obviously it's guilty pleasures, there's guilt and pleasures. And by the way, I loved this. I loved that he looked like someone <laughs> all who shouldn't be allowed about. within 30 feet of a school. Yeah. I love <laughs> that he, uh, you know, that that to me was quite the fun. The gel didn't help. I no, it, it didn't help. It was, it was gel. Yeah. And what I'll say again, uh, to reiterate, I love the music in this movie. Yeah. And I think that the music is it's, some yeah. of the best musical theater, my, contemporary yes. musical theater music Amen. of all time. Yes. Like, I think it's really, really great. Um, the, what and, you said, and sorry on that. Yeah. Ben Platt destroys. He has the best yes. voice. 100%. Of any th- musical theater performer ever. And Caitlin Dever really great. I, I didn't know she could sing. I, 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 sure. I like her a lot. You, in other re- I love Caitlin Dever. Oh, I think I she's her fantastic. Voice was, compared oh, to her the voice girl. Is, no, no, no. Of course. Cool, yeah. cool, obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's Zoe a, yeah. In, in the musical is unbelievable. Um, I could have, th- I thought Julianne Moore's lament could have been cut. It, it, <laughs> it should not have been there. It should not, it should not have been a, a over the shoulder shot, just cutting back and forth for three minutes. Of course. Yeah. Hilariously, we have opposite opinions. You like that really? song? I didn't like that song because yeah. I was bored by that time in the movie. Yeah. But I think that Julianne Moore and Caitlin Dever are so... And Amy Adams. Far- no, we'll get there. Oh my God. Julianne Moore is so far and above better than ah! anyone else in this movie. Yeah. Her, she, like she has real pathos and pain and same with Caitlin Dever. Yeah. And so I know this was a, a movie where like 
Again, you may be, you the, the the narratives you heard is that it was filled with <laughs> acting misses. Yeah, and who those said that? Two, <laughs> Kelsey, who said that? Kelsey, this movie's Rotten Tomatoes scores like thirty. It, oh, Christ, what, is, what have they ever gotten it right? <laughs> I think the narrative. I guess maybe you haven't seen the news. Let me update. Let me update you. Do we need to break this? This movie flopped so hard. Uh, Did I you not know believe, that? I heard all the buzz when the trailer came out. Like, oh my god, he looks so fucking old. Yeah. But people who saw it loved it. <laughs> they loved it. I loved it, and the so, people who saw it loved it. So what? Okay, take us back to the premiere. Yes. What was what was the the mood in the room? Oh, everyone was absolutely saw. Everyone was a theater kid, uh-huh. grown yeah. into oh, someone sure. that didn't exactly make it, and we're all struggling. And but we came to support our musical theater people, and that brings me to the one tiny babyist <laughs> critique that I had uh-huh. is that. We all there as an audience understand the musical. We support and loved it. And yeah. it, we, it meant so much to all of us that I think some things don't translate yes. in terms of acting. And like everyone always makes fun of like the bursting out into a song in a moment where it doesn't feel like it is. That mm. has never d- been done well. Like think of all like fucking cats and yeah. fucking all that shit into the woods. It's going to be awkward and clunky. Like it's not meant to be fucking uh, Oscar winning film. Chicago. So yes. yes. Okay, sure. Maybe. But mm-hmm. I think it, there were points that were a little big overacted. Maybe you're talking about Ben Platt specifically. No, because he, he has a lot of like, <laughs> Like he he um that's when you. he sings that's he, literally the noises Zach Kornfeld makes that's all the time. <laughs> when he sings, he um his face articulates and he sings so hard yeah. in mm. some of these scenes that you can words see the vein popping in his neck. Words, you know the the meme words, of the kid babe. sitting in class yeah. who's like trying so hard Do it. Yeah. hard to not breathe. He's trying to like jizz his pants. I don't know. What. No, he's going. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's that. That is Ben Platt singing face. Yeah, sometimes. and that doesn't exactly translate into a fucking close up with the worst lighting in no. a movie. Dude, I the part where he's ever. at the end when his face is like when he's doing like, the crying, he looks yeah. like he's in it. Yeah, and it's like it's mm. lighting from above, yeah. and so it's, it's very shadowy. Framebridge makes it easier and more affordable than ever to frame your favorite things without ever leaving the house. You go to framebridge.com and upload your photo, or they'll send you packaging to safely mail in your physical pieces. Then you preview your item online in dozens of frames and styles and gallery wall layouts. The experts at Framebridge will custom frame your item and deliver your finished piece directly to your door, ready to hang. Instead of the hundreds you'd pay at framing stores, the prices all start at $39 and all shipping is free. Plus, our listeners will get 15% off their first order at framebridge.com when they use our code GUILTY. I used Framebridge to get Jared a frame of his original DJ outfits when he first took off in his career. Like, it's so cute. It's his little penny jersey that has his caps up and it's hanging on his office now, like in memoriam of his career, the heydays, the glory days. He loved it. So get started today. Frame your photos and send someone the perfect gift. Go to framebridge.com and use promo code GUILTY to save an additional 15% off your first order. Just go to framebridge.com, promo code GUILTY. Framebridge.com, promo code GUILTY. So, and uh, speaking of the lighting and the yeah. style, um, uh, again, to reiterate, I love the musical, love the music. Okay, stop saying that, Miles, because well, then something this... negative always comes after you say that. Well, because here's the thing. Okay. Dear Evan Hansen, when mm-hmm. I listened to the music and mm-hmm. I understood it in, on, on Broadway, I think part of the fun of Dear Evan Hansen is that it's poppy, it's fun, mm-hmm. and then, mm-hmm. uh-oh, it's about suicide. It's yes. dark, it's yes. scary, it's yes. sad. Yes. So they shot this like beautiful boy. Mm-hmm. They should have <laughs> shot it like high school musical. And yes. then the saturation, the colors, and then it gets dark. Yes. In the musical version, because I've seen clips of Ben Platt, yeah. the part where he's like, um, my name is Evan. Uh, sorry, like, yeah. ooh, that's uh-huh. everything. Uh-huh. So in, in the it's stage, more of a comedy. It's, it's comedy. It's yeah. comedic. And, and obviously that's part of the, the theatrical performance. Yeah. Stage but performing. It's, it's a, mm-hmm. a heightened clumsiness. Yes. And sorry, go on, Miles. And the, did awkward, much more well, the awkwardness is so relatable. He's like, ah, oh, sorry, that's my name. Yeah. But yeah. This, no, he's, smaller than that. Yeah, it's in this, he <laughs> is somebody that if I saw 
in public <laughs> doing the things he would do, I would, would be so physically cross uncomfortable. The street. No, it's, it's not so... his fault though, because his performance <laughs> in the musical amazing to give that every mm-hmm. night, eight shows a fucking week. Yeah. I mean, no wonder he looks 44. He <laughs> aged himself. <laughs> deeply and that's not that's on the direction Uh and that's on the editing i don't think they should have done so many fucking (laughs) close-ups with his emotional yes fucking face and same with amy adams she's a gorgeous beautiful actor and they lit her in a way that made her look like somebody really did die because (laughs) she looked unwell and she's fucking stunning yeah and it just yeah that that was my one i I think that a lot of the errors in this do come down to the direction and I'll for sure. I'll yes. uh, list the mine out, but I like he was forced into this subtlety mm-hmm. that made me not like him yep. because he's not being the funny clumsy Evan mm-hmm. Hansen. He's just like, Oh my God, I want to <laughs> scream and turn away from the screen. Evan Hansen. Do you remember when he's talking to Zoe the first time yeah. they're at the lockers and he mumbles and he's oh so nervous and, he's, and he uh, doesn't uh, just uh, run uh, away. Uh, 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 he Naruto runs. <laughs> he, Naruto he runs away. He, he puts his arms down and runs <laughs> and okay. as fast as he can out okay. of the scene. It well, is then amazing. We, I feel like we have to address the like. Full laugh out loud. For yes. Me, yeah. which, which is a, a yes. pleasure. Yeah. Yes. I, I think what this movie did really well and the musical does really well. And mm-hmm. that I think a lot of people were critiquing as like overacting or comedy is that he is portraying a very, very intense version of social anxiety and agoraphobia right. and mm-hmm. depression. Right. Yeah, which like, I imagine is part of why you love the musical so the much. Musical. Right. Oh, for yeah, sure. If anyone doesn't know, I am fucked up with all those <laughs> mental illness disorders. Oh, wrote a whole book about it. Go buy it. Uh, been on pills since I was 15. Like mm-hmm. I know that game. Like when they're like Zoloft, Flex, bro, I'm like, yep, check, check, check. And I think it got, and not only the movie, but the musical also got a lot of backlash for, um, either saying without saying it or or giving um like hints to him being on the spectrum and oh. it was saying and there was a lot of critiquing of saying like this isn't representative and i wanted to be like no oh my god and of course i can't say to that experience because I, I i don't i've never been diagnosed yet, mm-hmm. but i have been diagnosed with agoraphobia i have been diagnosed mm-hmm. i have lived through times of severe social anxiety and what he does is so outward Mm -hmm. that it comes off as comedy, right? Like when Mm. that's actually happening, it's happening on the fucking inside. And it works in a musical sense because you have to overact so the people in the very back row, AKA me, can see what you're fucking doing. But when you put that on screen and you give the, and you give the hands and you give the run, that comes off as making fun of it. So what we're saying is that, what we're saying here is that Ben Platt gave too good of a performance yes, in correct. this movie. He gave yeah. too much outward. It, it was too. It was too real. Yes. Yeah. And we couldn't handle it. Yes. Mm-hmm. What well, he is I'm going, glad you understand and admit your faults. It does seem like he's going for what he presumes to be an Oscar. <laughs> a, a million percent, and that, by the way, <laughs> he absolute gave pleasure. It everything. Everyone in this movie. Yes. Firmly. Yes. Firmly believes. I still they're believe. getting Oscars. Yeah. yeah. And, and by the way, the Oscar noms haven't come out yet. There you go. They so still what do you fucking chance. know, guys? Yeah. Still got Oscars a chance. 2022, Dear Evan Hansen. Yeah. Start the hashtag. Well, there's an original song, so they can not. It, it I'm is. curious. So so I thought mm-hmm. a lot of the controversy was really about the idea that like Evan is a bad, bad person. person. Yeah. yeah. And, and I actually, I guess this is a decent time to talk about my experience with the musical. So I, I saw it with Ned. Yeah. We Aww. we really were having a great time. And during the first act, what's so- f- Did you know what it was about? Uh, uh, vaguely. Okay. okay. What's so fun to me about the musical is this slow motion car crash, right? Mm-hmm. Like you see it coming and Evan- this guy is just making a horrible decision. Mm-hmm. And then he gets caught into this web of lies mm-hmm. where you, you see the desperation on the mom's face. She really mm-hmm. wants to believe mm-hmm. that there was more to her son. Right. That then, ju- and, and actually the musical has scenes that this cut, that I think it cut to its detriment. We see Connor in the beginning. We see mm-hmm. how he is ruining this family's life, mm-hmm. right? And what I thought the musical was, was this brilliant cutting satire on how we lionize the dead. Uh, it really reminded oh. me of mm-hmm. uh, this movie with Robin Williams, World's Greatest Dad, that I cannot recommend enough. Yeah. Fucking phenomenal, where his son 
also dies. His son is a piece of shit. His son oh. kills himself, yeah. but he creates this cover story to be like, no, my son was great uh. and everyone believes him, but then he gets pissed off and wants to, it's yeah. very, very right. dark comedy. Uh. But I'm watching this and I'm watching the first act break, which is You Will Be Found. Oh, and, and Evan you is You will be found <laughs> and in a darkest crash and through Kamala's <laughs> And this is my problem with the musical is that I'm watching this scene of Evan going viral, singing this, this inspirational song mm -hmm. that's a lie and you have like these upworthy headlines of like this friend kid's best friend died you'll never see what he does next i mean does that not and, sound like buzzy or what 100 yeah. yeah, he's yeah. going viral and i am laughing yeah. my ass oh off yeah it's funny hysterically and <laughs> yeah. then i realize i'm the only one uh. and this musical that i believed was making a point of see how when people die we right. we atone all of their sins yeah. no you were a great person uh -huh. your life was so wonderful mm -hmm. i forgive you for everything your life mm -hmm. was wonderful connor mm -hmm. murphy no connor Muf murphy was a Muf piece of why shit why do you keep calling him connor murphy. Murphy. murphy connor murphy was a piece of shit yeah. right and he made his family's life miserable uh -huh. and he should not be <laughs> forgiven for the things that uh, he did uh -huh. mm -hmm. and uh and you know what this musical then at the end goes no I, this thing, this is not satire. Yes. We believe this. I want you to take it face value. Everyone's important. Doesn't yeah. matter if you're a piece of shit. We love you all the same. And that mm -hmm. kind of made me hate it. The things that they yeah. did add in the movie to balance that because there was so much He's response. He's totally different. In the musical, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's the ending pieces where in this one, uh, spoiler Evan does decide like I kind of want to get to know who Connor really was mm -hmm. and he starts reaching out to people he starts reading all of his favorite books none of that shit was in the musical yeah but even in the beginning uh Connor Murphy is a much different yeah. character uh -huh. he's very bully sad, bully yeah. sympathetic uh -huh. right we yeah. totally cut the mm -hmm. opening scenes of him yeah terrorizing his family yeah right. and to that I say also little dark but I think when someone is sick with addiction and clearly some sort of anger issue like we all know some family in our lives mm. somewhere along the way where you just go like jesus fucking christ that kid's parents must be so like yeah. saint like or oh my god those kids parents like jesus i would hate to be their mom and dad like you do know someone where they seem unhelpable right mm -hmm. and to that it's like what is a family supposed to do? You never give up on your kid. Not that age. No, when they're can't. like 25, 30, then you're like, all right, motherfucker, you've, we've given you chances. But this was like, I felt the scene where the dad finally watches the viral video and comes home and breaks down with the wife that like, okay, he really does miss this kid that he had like painted to be mm -hmm. a, a villain. Holy shit. Oof. Lost my <laughs> juices were going and flowing. All the juices flowing yeah. out of everywhere. And I oh, think it, that's so. what it was honest about. <laughs> and like when I say it's not afraid to hit the hard hitting, I wasn't just kidding. Like I have never seen a movie that is of this age mm -hmm. talking so head on about suicide and addiction and anger in like a fucked up family. I guess it's like the, to me, the, the triumph of the musical is what you're talking about with the parents mm -hmm. and they cut three, four of the parents it's songs. It's a movie, Zach. Well, yeah. but the, that is the strongest part of the musical and mm. it's all gone here, mm. which is yeah. a damn shame because I think that's the most resonant thing. If mm. you're um, going, vi if you're writing a script and your the character goes viral in it, yeah. delete it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that like that maybe was fun to put in a script maybe a little bit ago. When he goes viral, it's like, this is ass. This Why? Because you're so used to it? No. Sequence. Well, first of all, when he... When he, by the way, he falls down 10 times in this movie. Okay. Yeah, and when he falls just, down on the stage, are you kidding? They were like, people are going to fucking hate this. Cringe. <laughs> They're like, live in this. This is fucking, he falls down like, oh, oh God. His note cards go everywhere. His note cards everywhere. It's the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's it's so stage. unbelievably God. ridiculous. Uh, okay. But then. Well, here's my question though. Yeah. About the viral video. Uh -huh. Is he singing in the viral video? Yeah. Are you? No, he's not. It, yeah. You think that in the world of Dear Evan Hansen, yes. you think he's singing? 
Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. You, you think know, it's like the in, video in, that goes in, viral. In, in well, uh, yeah. I mean, his mom, his mom goes. I saw a video of a speech you gave. It's so a speech. It's a it's speech. A speech. Yeah. But we, as the audience, got to see this beautiful, magical speech as a song. Yeah. And but, he has an incredible <gasps> voice. If, it begs the question: What speech could he, someone give that yeah. would go that it's, viral? It's, it's exactly damn, what he said. It's gotta be a but will be found. Singing. If it rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> he gave poetry. He did slam, slam poetry. <laughs> Look at this kid. This kid doing scat. <laughs> Oh my god. You guys are getting it wrong. Okay. It, yeah. it it wasn't it wasn't supposed to make sense. So on that note though of <laughs> of of uh Evan Hansen being a a bad person, right? Yeah. yeah. I think this movie unfortunately accidentally makes him seem more malicious and evil. Because he looks older. Because he looks older. Okay. There's something with with musical um musical uh what is it musical logic right like mm -hmm. guy sees girl and you're like i want them to be together but in this i'm like yeah, no. yo he no. is he is scheming get yeah. her away from He's him scheming. <laughs> but their get feelings are away. real for each other no yes he just had to get past the social anxiety and the death of his her brother just happened to be it you know what he says huh. right before he tries to kiss her tell me he's role playing as her brother <gasps> what saying that she's everything to him it's, Do it's you a know whole song the song is ben Evan yeah, Hansen being and yeah exactly and he's like we're a million apart. miles apart but like he's like saying this and right as he leans in to kiss her he's role playing as her no, brother no he's saying but he's, he's saying he, the things that her brother this supposedly isn't, this said this isn't this isn't no no <laughs> yes. no you're wrong Miles Miles this is this is not when they kiss he no liked no that's not the, when they kiss but that's when he tried to kiss they had that no. little lean in, in, in the kitchen in. they have and a little lean like, and you have all the love in your hair and he but, 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 but. Yeah. yeah that's not when they kiss that's not the romantic but they're stuff. leaning that in no but he leans in and they literally are lips apart in that song, you gotta rewatch it. They're alone in his room, a pedophile. <laughs> when that song yeah. happens, he's talking about <clears throat> himself. You're talking about the kitchen moment in the beginning. Yes. Uh -huh. And she's like, tell me more what he said about me. Exactly. But it's what he thinks of her. She doesn't know that he's lying. A little horny for my taste. A lot a of horny. My. <laughs> ben Platt, anything about him make you horny? No, absolutely. Oh, yeah, not. same for me. Unfortunately. Okay, let me give some some genuine plessies. Oh, Caitlin Dever, I think is phenomenal. And actually, I want to talk about that, but I want to hear your second hole. Second <laughs> hole is this. Okay, so and this isn't so much of a hole, but just a thing I found very silly. So he's got this huge lie. The main lie he's talking about is going to the orchard with the guy. Uh huh. Right. Uh -huh. He's the video is viral, talking about them going to the orchard. Uh -huh. He tells everybody to go to the orchard. At the end of the movie, when they go to the orchard, he's like, "Oh, this is cool." <laughs> He didn't drive to the orchard to it fucking is, fact check his story that was his entire life was about this lie. It is he a genuinely try. crazy thing that Evan Hansen has fabricated this entire lie yeah. that hinges on going to the orchard. And he, he not, to check? not once thought to go drive there what to check, check out the specifics. Why does he need to check? It's an orchard. It's trees. He's talking about the specifics of the, the roads and the apples. and the Oh, you're saying winding through the country road. Yeah, I'm like, why didn't he go? He's, I, I was just like, he should have gone and been like, there's the orchard. Okay. He said the most vague shit. He said, he said, and then uh, it's about, about it filled with trees. We'd sit there and shoot the breeze like buddies do. He didn't go into, he didn't need to. But you don't think anyone was going to have follow-up questions in the months since? Not a single person When did, they have an entire foundation. They, they're raising $100,000 for this yeah. orchard. You don't think they're going to say, hey, Evan, what do you think would be good for that orchard? And you'd go, oh, Naruto, run. Yeah. <laughs> Apples. It's an apple orchard. All right, Zach, what about Full Caitlin stuff. Devers? So Caitlin Devers is, I, I think, Caitlin Dever? Yeah. Dever. Devers, one of her. I think. One. There's only one of her. Oh, I thought it was two. The one Devers. and only. She's wonderful. And Caitlin Devers? I think she's doing such great work in this movie, despite the way that the movie is built around her because she's dealing with the really hard thing, her character, that the whole oh, world is basically, Ev and Evan included, they're all gaslighting her, right? They're mm -hmm. saying, your brother was this wonderful person, not the monster that you think he is. And so she's having to grieve a dead brother, mm -hmm. but also grieve this fact that, is she wrong? Is she to blame? Yeah. And she plays the nuance of that it's really challenging and really heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. It's it's a really great character. Mm -hmm. I think she had some of the prettiest songs. Yeah. I mean, Re Requiem is a great song, mm -hmm. and I think she does a great job. Mm -hmm. But that's then also, I'm so sorry, 
where I think the movie does a total fucking disservice to that. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm going to go and you're no, going to just have no, to let I'm gonna, me. I'm going to actually be quiet. I'm going to drink a drink while you talk. I think Amy Adams is horrible in this movie. <laughs> I think Amy Adams, one of the true greatest actresses of our generation, and I don't think it's her fault. Yeah. I think that she (laughs) delivers just an abysmal performance. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. A little drinking. Go ahead. Okay. And I think it's the direction of the movie. I think that it's, I think this movie is one of the worst directed movies I've ever seen. I have to say it there. I'll say it. I said it. I'm Uh, sorry. Yeah. And I think that's a pleasure and we'll talk about it. Okay. Um, uh, I think that they thought that the idea of a kid dying was just too sad and that uh, even though that's the whole premise of this movie, it's just too sad. And so when we first meet Amy Adams, she is not acting like someone who just lost a son. Oh, not at all. She's like, hey, Evan, so nice to see you. She is not devastated. And so the whole musical (laughs) hinges on this moment where Evan needs to lie because it means so much to this woman. And in this movie, it doesn't. No, not he at all. Just, he, and that makes everything thereafter so much more insidious, so much more evil, because it's not, oh, no, I'm getting caught, sunk into this web of lies. It's, I like lying. It makes me feel good. I want to be with this family. They're hot. Yeah. And that is rough. There's a lot of joy in that family. I agree with that. I think the grief is not represented in that family. I think everyone grieves differently. First of all, (laughs) grief doesn't look the same on everyone. And I totally disagree. There are so many moments and I, I like made sure to clock them because I knew I had heard that like, yes, Evan Hansen is a shitty person doing shitty things, Uh but you have to remember what he is going through as a person, right? He literally did not have a single friend and the first girl he's ever had a crush on is reciprocating speech back to him. And this family invites him over to the girl he's of his dreams. And she's saying, right. And this thing that right. And Evan, that's why the you performance know, needs to be modulated in a way that he doesn't have a choice. And the movie always feels she, like he has a choice. She yeah. was devastating in that moment that they first meet Evan in the principal's office when she's like, yes, the she's, one I'm talking about. No, she's like <laughs> fucked up. She's like, uh, and you can tell the inner workings of their marriage is all fuckery and fucked up. And, I thought she did so good at making me believe why someone would go into a web of lies that deep because she needed that. This she is was incredible. asking This is for really, it. I she feel just like said we the saw exact it. same thing, the <laughs> exact same thing, <laughs> but saying. with the exact opposite takeaway. I feel like we saw different movies. I will say you had the added benefit of huh? seeing it with a group of people who are a theater full of people that probably loved it. A theater. And I'm guessing that, that, yeah, that, that changes it. White girls who never made it in musical theater yet. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Girls. I mean, we're middle aged, right? So in the, in the after party, was Amy like, Cheers in with Julianne. It's like look like looks like time my time for an Oscar motherfucker. Uh, like she everyone was pretty chill because it was COVID, so it wasn't like a ton of people, mm. and like it was outside, and like she was eating some um, some like um, I have to imagine it was short rib ravioli. Oh, that sounds really good. But I, by the way, I did write Amy Adams <laughs> love her. What was she thinking when she showed up on set and saw the wig? <laughs> her wig. <laughs> No, or no Ben Platt's <laughs> Like she's okay. Come on, she's an Oscar. Yeah, I know you love actress. the thing, but he looks. Amy Adams hasn't crazy. gotten her Oscar yet. Stop. She hasn't. Really? She should. Even for Enchanted, <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> oh um, my god! Can we talk about my favorite moment of the movie? Uh, okay, so. Okay, God, every favorite moment has another web of bad moments I need to talk about. But <laughs> um, Dear Evan Hansen, the, the titular song. Say is that again. The titular Thank song. You. Which one? Dear Evan Hansen. Hansen yeah. we've been waiting. It's called Sincerely Me, right? No, it's called Dear Evan. Oh, is it it's called, called Sincerely, Sincerely Me? Sincerely Me. Ah, damn, you're right. Okay, That's a not, polka and I love it. It's not titular. <laughs> uh, that song is a fucking blast. Yeah. Originally performed by the great Mike Feist who I got to see in this show, who oh. my biggest pleasure for this movie is that he couldn't do this and instead yeah. is in West Side Story, which is the greatest musical put to screen. Like when you, you're like, oh my God, this is what it can be for a musical to be put on screen. This is fucking staging and choreography and like it's fucking cinema. Yeah. And Mike Feist <laughs> fucking kills it in that and is like deserves an Oscar nomination. He is incredible. I love that man dearly. <laughs> he is so fucking good. Um, but the guy who they get to play Connor Murphy in this 
poor guy. Um, what? he when he finally danced. So his he has the most static, boring version of that song where this fucking dope sincerely me. It's just him walking down a hall. Mm-hmm. Just him walking down a hall, and then he walks down another hall, and then he's walking down a hall. Oh, is, I see what you're saying. The blocking is very. It's boring as fuck, yeah. Kelsey. Okay, well, he's yeah. in high but school. when they finally you know. get let him dance for one second, he hits the woe. <laughs> of course, he does. It is incredible. But yeah, it's, it's so boring. that moment is like he, it's, he's not being himself. They're writing fake letters about Connor, and he's acting. Also, that actor is now the new Dear Evan Hansen on the. He musical. was the understudy yeah. for the longest time. Yeah, and he's he's oh, the cool. new Evan. So he's got a fantastic voice, um, but he's acting out what they're writing. So he's supposed to be robotic and just acting out what they're saying. I hear you or on hear the, me out, the make it a fantasy and have yes. a fun fucking dance yeah. number in a movie. It that did is, feel that a little low static. budget when they went to a park and they're standing under a veranda dancing like Charlestoning with um, trash picker <laughs> up or I actually like it. I kind of disagree because I think that that's the strongest. I want the rest of the thing to feel like that. That was the most high energy. The high, most high energy. The I like them dancing with the trash pickers. That hurt my heart. Out of the like, arcade, them doing DDR. Oh, the arcade was great. I like that. I was that like, Give should me have been more. the whole musical. That. Yeah. But, but yeah. the songs aren't that high Peppa Steppa. That's Pe- the highest Peppa Steppa yeah. song. But, but see, I just like liked more of the like fantasy musical setting because then it hits harder that it's like sad. But again, you're talking about fantasy where I hear you that you wanted like contrast up like papers being thrown by students in the background like yeah. i agree that that could have happened more but i think to what degree does then it become cheesy well the movie was bad so <laughs> i think that if it was different it would have been better kelsey yes i understand that that's, that's a why different i chose movie. my words so carefully when well, i had have. like there are quiet <laughs> moments like basically every song caitlin dever sings right <laughs> which is intimate and <laughs> i don't want them to be dancing no, during that. you don't yeah. want them but like every number is filmed exactly the same it, it, <laughs> it the problem with slow the majority of the songs being these like big ballady yeah. pop mm-hmm. or not pop but like uh contemporary hits is you end up acting longer than you would if you weren't singing yeah right like you have to hold the no yeah, right. and you're like oh no by <laughs> by the second verse you're like i'm ready for this song to be done and i fucking love this this soundtrack. You need to see West Side Story. Okay, I've heard it's very good. It is. I missed cinema. it because it was Omicron time, so I didn't go see it. It is cinema. I heard you have to see it in a theater though, and I missed the theater time. Go find a matinee where no okay. one's going to be there. Okay, it um, will <laughs> rock your fucking world. Oh, I I'm excited. I have except Ansel Elgort maybe gives the worst performance in a movie I've ever seen. Is he hot? No. He's also uh, canceled. He's Why? Canceled. He's canceled. What and happened? He did some he's naughty. Shit. Speaking of, another mm-hmm. favorite moment of but mine. But it's like, sorry, it is <coughs> the best movie I've ever seen with the worst lead performance I've ever seen, and that's how good it is. <laughs> Are you talking about Dear Evan Hansen or mm-hmm. West Side Story? That too. Story. Oh, okay. Um, so a movie that I really liked mm-hmm. to share a pleasure. I really, well, first of all, I like the actress who plays the student body president. Yeah. And yeah. she was really good. What's her name? Um, again, I thought the whole supporting cast is like fantastic. And they gave um, her, they wrote a new song yes, for her. A new song for her. The anonymous But ones. I particularly like the scene and I think it would have been like, again, there's my note going through, I but mean, I think if Evan Park. Hansen had had more of a, like, like a pet, like an, like if his anxiety played more comedic or just like sharper, yeah. then it would have been nicer. But I, I still laughed. Hmm? <laughs> to some of his jokes. I, I did not find a single moment funny that the directors thought this is going to be funny. I found moments funny. Except for the friend. Anything that Dear Evan Hansen said no, Dear Evan Hansen didn't say any jokes. I found a lot of moments funny. I just don't think that they meant them to be. Yes. But I like that scene where she's like, oh yeah, like I'm depressed too. Yeah. And you're like, you think you I'm. You think you're like so special so special and unique. Yeah. Because he does. He, and when he's like, I oh yeah, I'm your burden mom. He screams at her in the he parking lot. Of the, I thought that was insane, but I just liked I thought that, that scene was of, so amazing. Oh, where how no. like how were you not like not cringing at the movie? Like, were you not cringing in that moment where the family's like, you guys are poor. Let us pay for your college. And she's like, I'm fine. Thank you. I've yeah, fucking it, done everything I, I, I can. I thought it was great because Julianne Moore. It's great. It. I yeah. just thought he is such a he's it, here's the thing. If he was like, I young, hate him. There I said it. I hate yeah, him. I hate Ooh. him. 
If, and it Evan complain. Hansen, I hate him. No, you can't. I Not can. as my friend. I can't. No, you can't. I hate him. I'll find something you love and fucking hate it. Yeah. Well, don't you, don't Bowie! You. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck that dog! No, as I don't mean it. You can hate Bowie. Just I we've lost out it. of this. Oh, lost the show? <laughs> lost rules. Um, I liked Lost. I think the Hell innocence yeah. is lost. That's what I'm looking for. Are we talking about the show? Wait, what's And you know what? That's also, you forgive him in the show a little more because he's a child. In the what stage, are we stage about? musical, <laughs> Devin Hansen. Okay. In the stage musical, it's like he's a child. He looks like a kid. The innocence, oh God, innocence, it's so embarrassing and you make, and, you and you make, make mistakes. mistakes. In this, I don't believe that he's not like smarter than that. And I think it's mm -hmm. because of his performance being so dark mm -hmm. and uh, it being a film and being shot. <laughs> like it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's like when he screams at Julian Moore, I'm just like, bro, you're so spoiled. Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Like your mom, like, I don't know. Like, I just like, I could not disagree more with like <laughs> understanding why he got to that point. Like, was he doing shitty things? A hundred percent. You have to also remember that this man is mentally ill. Notice like, how you said man. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this man, I was thinking like this man's. My guilty pleasure babies, Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle and a wide range of recipes to suit your preferences. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. Options are available whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. I asked for their gluten-free menu because you know your girl does not do inflammatories very well with her chronic pain, neither does Zaki Poo. And it was so easy. I made my meal in under 25 minutes, which if you're shot for time, you should use their fast and fit option, which features recipes under 700 calories and ready to eat in 25 minutes or less. Go to greenchef.com slash guilty130 and use code guilty130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Did you hear me? That's greenchef.com slash guilty130 and use code guilty130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. This man well, he looks like a grown man. Ill. <laughs> he's not a kid. You know, whatever. This boy is fine. It's like to have gone from what is he supposed to be 16 or 15? Yeah. His anxiety and social agoraphobia is so strong that and the mother is so desperate. The family needs so much healing just like his arm in that cast that it, I believe why they get there together. And then for her for the mother to then say like I don't want to ruin his life and reveal his lies and it leaves <laughs> it up to him to better it and say I did this fucked up thing. I feel like mm. I get why it went that way. I'm not standing up for him. I'm just saying I see when people get pushed to the edge what happens? He's 17 canonically. Canonically he's 17. How do we feel about the fact that um they made us wait 25 minutes for a second song? And I know that. I didn't notice. Because I looked. Yeah. I didn't notice. I think yeah. that that is, oh, the music is the best. Whenever they're not singing, I'm I'm a little like, yeah, let's do the next song, huh? How about that vibrato, though, that Ben Platt has? Oh. The guy can sing. He, he, he's went. got pipes. <laughs> so pretty. I'll also say, my, well, I think my favorite moment, there's a couple moments where I get chills in the thing. Yeah, okay, And go on. one of them is when Caitlin Devers like, um, you are not the what did you say? You're, You're not, not the, the monster. monster. And she slams on the brakes. And she, you thought Ooh. she was gonna crash her own car. Love I that loved moment. that moment too. Love that. I moment. remember tearing up there. Mm -hmm. I believed her everything she did. I believed it. Yeah. Anytime he goes like, oh, there is okay. I got one critique about our band, <laughs> and it's not just for the movie; it's also the musical. When he breathes in, yeah. sometimes it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that is that Ben Platt or your yes. dog Buckley that you're fostering? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring Buckley into this, or do he? He would love it too, but he does have a <laughs> genuine question that I just was as you were talking about Caitlin Dever. I was thinking about this. How mad do you think Anna Kendrick is that she couldn't audition oh, for that role? She was too you old. Fucking oh, no, she was too so old. Mad. Not by this movie's line. No, like but. <laughs> It That's actually would have made more sense, though. It would have made more. It would have yeah. brought him down yes. a little bit because she would. Kayla Devers is too fucking baby face yeah, for us best. to believe 
And Ben Blatt is so fucking gay. Every time they kissed, I was like, ah, I don't believe this <laughs> at all. I know when you watch it, you're like, this character's not gay. <laughs> I know. And they joke about it. They're I like, know, you guys yeah. were lovers. And I thought, why not go there? And wait, this yeah. was a change, right? They made his best friend in this gay. I think. Yes. And he wasn't in the musical. I don't think so. And yeah. there's like a bunch of gay jokes in the musical Where that you, they, they, they truncated. Yeah. yeah. During Sincerely Me, it's like, they go on this whole like, but not because we're gay. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. not because, because we're gay. gay. The only guy I love like that it is, is my, dad. my dad. And they just, they're like, no, nah, we're not going to do that. Yeah. 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 So then they like, we're like, oh, let's make the best friend gay. So it's like, it's cool guys. Yeah, like, yeah. We're okay. We're to joke okay. About gay. We have representation. We got this. Musical theater is the <laughs> gayest fucking thing you can be into. Yeah. And if you're coming to critique gay jokes in a story based on musical theater, go fuck yourself. It's weird how everyone thought that until they see it, everyone thinks Dear Evan Hansen is, was a gay. Is, is a I did, you know, yeah. I thought he was of a, age. Well, it's yeah. also, yes, I was just going to say, <laughs> Dear Evan Hansen is fucking gay. It <laughs> it's a gay ass title. Why does it sound gay? Uh, I agree like, with you. Dear Evan Hansen, like his name is gay. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> Oh, name wow. a straight guy named Evan Hansen. It's a, It's also the name <laughs> of a, a kid you knew in high school who was fucking closeted. And then you, and you're like, Evan was gay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is a gay name. It just is. Again, I can say these things because I'm gay. I'd say nine out of ten Evans do turn out to be gay. <laughs> exactly. But that's, oh, the, and dear boy. Evan Hansen is such a gay way of addressing Oh, don't something. get me started about Hansen's. Hansen? Oh. They're all gay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Each and every one of them. Are they all? Chris Hansen. Speaking of Chris Hansen, he we could have used him in this movie. The sports <laughs> reporter? <laughs> no, the guy who catches predators. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, here's one final thing about this. So I felt bad when I, I initially watched this with friends. Um, and uh, uh I felt bad because every time he falls out of the tree, I laughed aloud. Miles. And I didn't know because he I didn't falls know. So he much. falls so hard, boom, hits the ground. And it's comedy. It's so comedy. He hits comedy. his head. He the hits his way head. that his body <laughs> flops. I mean, the fact that he only broke his wrist is unbelievable. <laughs> oh my he's God. breaking he's his fucking, back. He's this getting This guy's a going concussion. to physical therapy. <laughs> oh, the back hundo. pain that he is. And you know what? Maybe that's why he has the hunch. Oh, he's so hunched. Yeah. <gasps> See, don't you feel dumb now? I get it. Good. Yeah, that's right. But he falls and I, and then at the end they're like, actually, he was trying, trying to, to kill himself. himself. And, and I was you're like, like <gasps> um, he shouldn't have showed him hitting the ground so much because this is comedy. But then doesn't it make that fall like less comedy where no. you're like, oh shit, I'm, he really. I'm gone. I'm too, They've too played late. it seven times at that point in yeah. slow motion. And it's, so it's also though, it's, it's him once again, Naruto running from behind <laughs> across a bridge by himself. He's like smiling, running. <laughs> Why <laughs> does he run like that? I know. He runs with his arms out behind him and then then you see him pop, pop, pop. Let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> That's just honestly a great Has TikTok. Has done that yet? I said this before we rolled, but the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and yeah, Sciences Jesus. did tweet out a TikTok of, um, I hit my head on the wall, bow, and it was him. Hitting the <laughs> Which like, <laughs> so Jesus, <laughs> fucking those Twitter assistant, like interns who run Twitter accounts of big brands and companies really have no fucking like. That's great filter yeah. when once again watching this through the perspective of a pedophile who shouldn't be allowed yeah. in school but is snuck into school Stop the it. opening number waving through the window <laughs> the, the, the shot that they have of him in the window is not like not like him just like pressed up against the glass when you know hoping Winston, oh, oh I want to go see the people. It's this like tiny dark window and there's yeah. something sinister about it. Definitely. It, it, I don't think I've ever watched a movie that could more easily be recut into a horror trailer. Oh yeah. Oh, for someone sure. should do that. It'd be really funny. That would be a good TikTok. I hated yeah. the, um, the, when it was tap, tap, tapping at the, the and on every tap, 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 they cut on yeah. every tap, Tap, it was like him in the mirror, him at not the mirror, him at the mirror, him not at the mirror. Yeah. And it was tap, tap, tap. It's like, oh, you guys, the Where editor got it? into the edit bay Where and was like, it? yo, Stevie, Whoa. buddy, there's fucking nothing here. Do you mind if I fuck around a little bit? <laughs> Move and he was around. Like, you go. Do you guys Direction. know about the director, by the way? He has a mm -hmm. fascinating story. Mm -hmm. no. He so, gave a big, long speech at the premiere. Did he say, I'm sorry? <laughs> no, he was like, I made this film because it is so important and he read a long letter 
from people that had like <laughs> talked about how much Darren Hansen meant to them. Yeah, I know. And I probably should apologize because I know that this musical does mean a lot yeah. to a lot of people. <clears throat> and the problems that I have, like the fact that I think that it's kind of <laughs> also the way you're sitting right now. It's really it's funny. Absolutely insane. It looks if crazy. You can't on camera. see the way Zach is sitting. He has his legs all the way up. He's like in butterfly position, but sitting straight up. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen such a strange way. We call it sitting. the erect butterfly. Oh. Um. Makes sense. That checks out. Like I, I think it's like, kind of <laughs> weird that people find inspiration from this, but also no, like no, it's not yeah. inspiring. But I think it's, it's nice also that they find it inspiring, mm. and so I shouldn't take that from them. Yeah, but well, what are you gonna say about the directors? Oh, career? so Stephen yeah. Chabotsky, I think is how you pronounce his name. Mm. He is the writer, mm -hmm. the novelist of mm. Perks of Being a Wallflower. That's right, because he talked about that. So he wrote Perks of Being a Wallflower, cool. then directed the adaptation, and he's gone back and forth. He directed Perks of Wallflower? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That was an incredible movie. So That's it's fun. wild. He's gone back and forth from being a novelist to a screenwriter director, which wow. is, not, I, I can't think of anyone else that does that. Um, so well, yeah. fucking, you know. Also, that movie was so good. Yeah, what happened? No, that's not what I'm saying, Miles. It's just different. Like he he knows how yeah, to no, do different. Out, teen Once, angst. Essentially, I think a big fix for this movie would have been that Jordan Fisher plays Evan Hansen. Who's Dude, Jordan Fisher? Jordan Fisher's currently Evan Hansen on Broadway, or maybe he not anymore. Have, he would have been incredible. Great. It's just there's other people that played Evan Hansen uh, on Broadway that are younger that look like children. I'm doing the thing that I'm not supposed to do, which mm -hmm. is like really just being quite severely hard on a movie instead of joyously loving um, it. Yeah. But well, I think that it must be said to balance. <laughs> well, Kelsey was mm -hmm. hired as the legal team for Evan Hansen. <laughs> yeah. It seems so. I have my degree in law. The fun fact. <laughs> I want to give you a genuine plezzy and I think that the changing that they made, the change they made to the end of the movie, um, where you have this another original song, and then it reveals that Connor is singing it. Oh, um, yeah. On, and, and they send this video mm -hmm. to the mom. Earlier on in the movie, mm -hmm. they, she was like, he plays guitar, or I He'll thought he does. He never played. And so they found this video of him in yeah. recovery, mm -hmm. and they sent it to the mom. And I thought that was really quite lovely. And, and yeah, that's quite them fixing effective. their mistakes also for not feeling like Evan does anything to make good on all of his mistakes yeah. that was added. I don't even really <laughs> remember him in the musical, like being uh, an addict. Like I, I, I it is mm -hmm. what it is. I just, I have no memory of that in this. They might've pumped it up more in the movie. Yeah. Cause they mm -hmm. tell the story of like him wanting money and like his anger and he was trying to be better. He was trying to be better. They're, they're not talking about his, him being mood. an addict, then I yeah. feel bad for my rant about saying that he was a bad person. Well, no, he, the, <laughs> but what I liked was like Caitlin Devers was like, no, he was a piece of yeah, shit. Like he was right. not a good person to me or anyone else. And yeah. like you choose to remember pieces of people that like stick out the most to you, right? And in mm -hmm. death, maybe that's kind of like, fuck that guy. I get it. Yeah. And then he does his apology video in the dimmest lit light <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> the light on this whole movie I think we can agree was a cop. It's like in the dark like yeah. lit by an iPhone being like hi everybody <laughs> I'm Hello. super sorry I know I actually did it people are like who the fuck is this did guy? you mur you murdered him that's yeah, what you're you killed him <laughs> do we think huh. that Evan and the sister how far did they get how many bases oh barely kissing yeah I think no that it's just kissing just kissing hundo percento over yeah. the pants action yeah, mm, Caitlin Devers. They were kissing a bunch, though. They had them kissing at the home. Mm -hmm. They had them kissing at the prom. They On were, a merry-go-round. They were making out all over town. Not yeah. really making out. Mm, it was, was like a long kiss. Plunging that tongue. Yeah. Don't say that. Plunging. Respect Ben Platt's sexuality. Well, Don't he was chaperoning the dance. <laughs> But I do. <laughs> Miles, you were supposed to be on my fucking side for this. Look, I am a musical theater stan, and as a stan, I have to draw the line. You have to take a stand. I have to take a stand. You have to take a stand. Boy. Okay. All right, you ready for some fun facts? Fun facts with Zach's back. Uh, the vocal performances in the film were all recorded almost entirely live on set. I believe it. He did some really fun, funky new stuff that he doesn't do in the soundtrack, which I know like the back of my fucking yes. hand wrinkles. <laughs> Sensitive. Okay, this is interesting. Contrary to the musical, in the movie version, 
Ben Platt's character is actually canonically 45 years old. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, okay. So uh, Ben Platt's father, Mark Platt, yeah. produced the film. Yes. Quite famously. And people were like, nepotism. That's the only reason you're having this old ass man play mm-hmm. this character. No, but he literally was the fucking lead of the musical. <laughs> ben got very defensive about his age blind casting. So let's read it. Uh, okay. I'm reading this quote for the first time. Mm-hmm. Were I not to do the movie... It probably wouldn't get made. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and so that's my daddy made. I it. think Jesus. I think my defensive response is to want to go on Twitter and be like, "F you guys! You don't even know that this wouldn't exist without me." That sounds of a course, little. Of course, that's not true entirely, and not what? my place to say. Who All I that? have to do is let the work speak for itself. Mm. Mm. Um. That, you know what? Hard to disagree with the star power yeah. of Ben Platt. That man. <laughs> it is. As, as Evan Hansen, it's hard to disagree. He's a movie star. Yeah. What, you think you're selling this movie in China without <laughs> world-renowned he superstar Ben a Platt? He is fucking Broadway <laughs> legend. Mm-hmm. Okay? It might mm-hmm. be true. There's no... That's what I'm saying. There's no... People would have fucking rioted in the streets had they cast someone else as Dear Evan Hansen. I disagree. People <laughs> lost their shit when he left and they mm-hmm. replaced placed him yeah people lost their shit they were like it would be better that they just stop it running do you think in high school musical the musical the series they should have cast whoa, Zac whoa, Efron whoa, whoa. now you lost me. You or lost me. You lost me. in the remake of high school musical you're, you're, yeah I'm already gone <laughs> high school musical the musical the series uh-huh. on HBO uh, the Disney plus one do you on, think HBO. Should, on HBO do you think that they should have put Zac Efron yeah, looks in great. it you think now? It looks great, yeah. You think now? He With his totally fucking could. chiseled jaw? You get the right mm. actress aside <laughs> of him? Yeah. You yeah. think with his giant Next pectoral Caitlin Dever. muscles? <laughs> yeah, with Caitlin Dever? No, that would be Zach Efron dating Olivia Rodrigo in high school. We're going to let that slide. <laughs> I was actually going to offer I was actually going to offer Selena Gomez cuz she gives me that like middle ground between like could play young but also could play adulty. Uh-huh. Oh, this one I always found weird. Uh Ben Platt's boyfriend Noah Galvin also played the role of Evan Hansen on stage. Pretty cool. Just like kind of like what? fucking yourself. When? What's There's been name? a bunch of Evan Hansons. Yeah. It's been on Broadway for fucking ever. Yeah. So I think it's just another person who played Evan Hansen on Broadway. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. The movie version depicts Evan Hansen making amends in a montage where he learns all about Connor's life, whereas the stage version is much less forgiving and jumps right to the orchard that uh, Evan never bothered to go to. After <laughs> the song Words Fail, Ben Platt says... I don't want to give too much away, but there's a whole section in the film where Evan gets to come clean in a meaningful way. So he's just trying to do revisionist history. Be like, no, see, I was a good guy. Yeah. Um, a meaningful way and go work to try and make some good based on what he's done and what he's left in his wake, trying to help the family heal. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This really feels beautiful. like, you know what? It, it kind of feels like when people saw you and um, they were like, we stand Joe. And then obviously, <laughs> what's his name? The actor yeah. plays Joe. Ben Pad Pen Badge. Pen Badgley <laughs> came out and was like, no, 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 don't stand Joe. Yeah, but, but Ben I'm Platt's sorry. just being like, actually, Evan Hansen's a pretty good role model, to be I, honest. Yeah, but that's again, like that's the that's the filmmakers, that's the editing, that's them <laughs> manipulating the audience. Um, actually, <laughs> Evan Hansen's a really good guy, and I'm sorry <laughs> if you didn't get that. He did. I mean, it's really incredible the the preparation that Evan, I'm sorry, Ben Platt did for this role. Like yeah. he interviewed. Uh, people like Jared from Subway, <laughs> like he put in the time. Are we to, done to get into the How role? Long have we been to inhabit the are we character. Done? You I, can't joke about pedophiles. This way. We go far on this podcast. People are gonna fucking Kelsey, hate you. You were the most edited <laughs> on the show by by far. It doesn't even compare. I never go to pedophiles. <laughs> okay, now this is the moment we gotta decide: is this movie? <laughs> A pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to hear you guys. Miles? I think it's a guilty pleasure. <gasps> um, okay. I'm actually going to, because I think it's a fun, the music is so good. Yes. It's crazy to watch <laughs> <laughs> that I think it's like worth seeing. Yeah. Like I don't oh, think wow. it's, I don't think it's a waste of time. There's like sometimes we watch movies and it's like, eh, it's just a waste of time. It's so bad yeah. and, cr- and like cringy and horrible. But I think it is cringy and bad and horrible, but it'd be, it's like fun to watch with people and the music's great. Huh. So Thanks, Miles, mm-hmm. for staying true to your roots. Yeah. <sighs> Even though it was an uphill battle the whole way. If you get really, <laughs> really high with friends, <laughs> you can watch the first 15 minutes oh and God. then fast forward to Sincerely <laughs> Me and then 
Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is bad. I don't want you to watch it. <gasps> wow. I don't think you'll enjoy it. Mm. And what? I, I think that a guilty pleasure has to be like, oh, it's so funny. How bad? And it's just kind of, it's kind of boring, guys. Yeah. You made me watch Drag Me to Hell. Which is, which rules. Really fun. And you have the audacity. I don't want people to be like, listen to the pod. So funny. I went and watched the movie. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we watch the movie so you don't have to. And this is one mm -hmm. of those times. That's never been our logline. Not once, not ever. We so, watch the movie so you don't have to. The show does not require you to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. I believe that. If you are a musical theater or just a, a, a general creative with an emotional core and a sensitivity to the topics well unearthed in this beautiful film, and if you can look past the stupid wig and the saggy face <laughs> that these boys have such a fixation on... Am I right overcompensating or something like that, guys? Well, I don't know. Maybe you feel bad about yourself. Um, <laughs> watch it. I think it's a story told in a way where you won't ever see a, a canon like this. <laughs> Did I do it right? Really good. And I'm going with pleasure. It's a full pleasure. Yeah. Hey, Miles, thanks for jumping in yeah, this week. Happy Miles, to. Yeah. You're fun. Thanks, man. I appreciate you're it. You're a fun guy. Uh, I, uh, you know, what can I say? I love musical theater. What's um, your favorite musical? Oh, that's so hard. I mean, I really like stage productions of the last five years, but I think oh. that the mu the movie's not that uh, that great. So, what's your favorite musical? Probably Cabaret. Oh, okay. If I really had to think about it, you how'd you get Rodriguez? into musical theater? Yeah, what's that? How'd you get into musical theater? When I was a theater major in college. Really? Now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> can you sing? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, like I can like hold a tune, but nice. I'm, not, I'm not a singer. Prove it. Tell me. Yo, whoa. Yeah. Sincerely me. Wow. I mean, every time that song starts, wow. your toes are fucking tapping. Dear Evan Hansen, we've been way too out of touch. Anyways, I'm Kelsey Darrow at all the things. I'm at Gorney on all the things. I'm Miles Bond on all the things. Everybody, let's go. Are you making up a song <laughs> to end our music? Hey, Evan Hansen, we're here to say. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, we'll be tap, tap, tapping on the glass. Tapping on the... Waving through a window.